<laughs> one being a one being a <laughs> Yeah, I like that too. Um Hi and welcome back to Booze Reviews. I am Adrian. I'm Chris. You know. We're booze reviews, we're doing nothing. Kavalan, the Taiwanese uh, whiskey purveyor. Mm -hmm. And this is their solace. Uh, expression comes in at a dizzy 57.1 percent. Car strength. Yeah, man. You like the car strength? Chill for it? No idea. Huh? Okay. I, I saw the box and went, yeah. Um, Got some packaging. It is definitely one which is on the pretty side of the packaging. You can see the inside looks very pleasant indeed. It's it comes in this lovely little round sort of. Team. Nice, hit yeah. of red on it. Yeah, yeah. But is it all spiral or substance? Absolutely, let's find out. Let's see where it lands. Yeah, okay. You okay. smell Christmas cake, mince meat, shenanigans and shenanigans. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's dark fruits, it's. The smell. Yes. The look. Yeah. It is definitely. Yeah. That, that, that big massive mason jar full of razors, sultanas and yeah. shenanigans that's under exactly. the kitchen sink. Yeah. This is what it smells like whenever you open it. Yes. It's that smell. Properly. Wow. Yeah. If you're making a Christmas cake and you put this stuff in it, but on smell alone, you're air. Well, therefore, this is a crossover for dark rum. Yes. So people really like that. Dark rum. Well, just from the take, the smell. Just, just from the smell. Oh. Yeah, that, yeah, marzipan, that you can definitely get the marzipan. Yeah, it's unreal. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is very unmistakably mixed fruit. Yes, mixed fruit, marzipan, rich madness, Christmas, holidays, it's all in this glass. Yes. Mince. Mm. Oh my god, yes. It's, it's got that, um, that rind stuff in it as well. Yes, yes, the rind, the zest. The, I've got Christmas songs running in my head now. Yes. It's yeah. blazing hot outside. It's beginning to feel a bit like Christmas in the middle of blinking July. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's now, so rich. Yeah. yeah. One of the things I've been told about Cavalan is they have a shorter maturation period than the Scottish type, of whiskey, Scottish and other northern prime whiskey. I so imagine, because, yeah, because they're equity, pretty much equatorial. Yes, so because it's so much hotter and more humid there, it, yeah, it matures quickly, very quickly, and they lose a ton in evaporation. The angel takes a big share. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it really does. They can't, so, they, can't, they can't make a bunker deep enough to, to mature their stuff in. Indeed. Right. So um, they, it tends to be a bit pricey because of that. They lose a lot mm. in vat. And, uh, mm. and we but, lose a lot more in vat than we have to buy. Mm. Well, I'm just dying to taste it because at the moment the smell reminds me of Ockentoshin Distillers Edition maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Which is of a similar colour, but not quite as not quite as Christmassy as this. This might be the most Christmassy on What's the nose. Was a um, full car strength though, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. Schweiter. Schweiter. Bloody hell! Well, I'm, I'm so glad I took the smallest of six because this comes out. You know the double A comes out at 60 point something? Yeah. This tastes like it's stronger. Yeah. You remember the, 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 the uh, Akutoshin Distillers Edition that I only mentioned a minute ago? Yeah. That came out all fist, fist blazing? Yeah. This is worse. I mean, stronger. Strong. Stronger. Tasty. Yeah. It's just. More concentrated. Yeah, it's a concentrate. It, it, and it's it tastes thick as well. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it is, this is like a, this is like a hard boiled Liam Neeson. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll just put it down because I'm not going to drink any more of it. Me. Um, 
You know when you have three cordials mm. and it's concentrate obviously and it's designed to be drunk mixed with water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't drink it straight up because mm -hmm. that would be just sheer madness mm -hmm. and you'll just collapse in a diabetic coma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on my That's second sip, this is where it is definitely a, a, a very apt expression that, yeah. It is too much to drink meat. I believe it. Fuck off. I mean, it's too much, it's too strong, it's too compact, it's too rich, it's too, it's too, it's, it's all the twos. Yeah. Yeah. It, apart from too drinkable. The, right. one, the one two it's not, meat, is too drinkable. This, but what I will give it, what I will give it, it's not unpleasant. He's still drinking it. Uh, that's, it's like drinking meat Ribena. It's, it's too much. It can be done, but you don't want to do it. Or you shouldn't do it. Mm. Don't do it in this. Don't know. If you're drinking this meat, then you're, you're, you're nuts. You're, I'm you're, stating that. You're fucking nuts. You're, you're the spirit of George Best if you're drinking this meat. No, he wouldn't even drink this meat. Oh, sure. No, no, he, he'll drink it. Yeah, but not me. <laughs> yeah, well, look, yeah, that, that, that is enough to send your lips numb and your tongue dizzy. My lip is definitely tingling. I'm just surprised. Yeah, I mean, I had to make sure. <laughs> for yeah. science. No, so that you guys don't have to. I'm, I'm, right? I'm there, I'm yeah. there, but it, it's I'm made, there. It definitely made my tongue. No, my lips. <laughs> <laughs> You see what I mean? <laughs> That's how numb it's made me. My brain has given up it's trying to work out what it's level of stuff. Down. It's like, nah, tongue lip. They're both numb. Work it out. Um, yeah, weird. Yeah. Tingly, tingly lips. Five drops, did it make any difference? Very, very dead. I let it touch my tongue, my tongue went. He moved that away from me. Still needs more water, guys. So, with uh, four spoons, we've gone from back, we've gone from straws to spoons. Yeah, spoons. We've gone back to the original spoons. Yes. Schleuder. Yeah. Schleuder. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. See on the other side. But God bless, mate. It's looking lighter. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting there now. Ah. That may be because my palate has been completely burnt off. No, 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 that's... That, that. mm. I'm about to refresh my palate. Mm. But it, it's not unpleasant. No, I think maybe we, we should have stopped at two spoons just to see where we were heading. But... No, no. I don't think we've gone too far. Because I'm, I'm, I'm... Well, obviously I'm not a drowner, but... I, I, would like, I would have liked to have seen the progression from where, where on earth we were to where we are now. Now it's a drink that I don't want to put down. Not quite there for me yet, it's still quite. Hmm. But now it's water, quite watery and I'm thinking... Two spoons, a block of ice, and that oh, might have been... Put a block of ice in it and just... It will dilute it in over time. So we'll yeah, to point. but I think I only wanted two spoons of water to get to a point where I could actually drink it. Then add the ice where I can then keep it company as it See. slowed them down. Maybe, but, maybe it is very much like the Japanese, some of the Japanese, mm, where this it's is designed a, to be diluted. Yeah, I think this is a very, very compact whiskey, mm. which is almost no, which is unapproachably neat. Mm. Um, it's a lip tingling, super strong, super rich, oily um, nightmare of a whiskey. Yeah. Add some water, and we actually have something which Start is open yeah. It's open. It's got a lovely, lovely, warm, even with four mm. spoonfuls of water. 
Uh, and it seems to take a lot more water than, say, an Avalon mm -hmm. before it opens up to a point where you can go, yeah, I can tackle you. And Abelawa weighs in heavier than this, mm. typically. Yeah. I don't think this is open enough for me. I, I need more. You need it more. still tastes very compact. Ooh. It's still a very strong Ribena. <laughs> mm. I like my white Ribena. I like my Ribena. I like my Ribena. <laughs> With wine. <laughs> <laughs> my wine Bina. Wine Bina. <laughs> Yeah, I like that too. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to throw some ice in, mm -hmm. see if we get somewhere that is good for me. It, this is taking too much work. It's a blood, it's, I can tell it's a really nice whiskey and it's got all those sherry bomb stuff going on it. Mm -hmm. It's just unpalatable. It's too com compact. It's, it's too, too much. Too oil. much. It's too much. But again, it may be that's why it's designed yes. to express itself with one of those ice balls or something like that. That's what it's exactly yeah. that. Yes. yes. If this, what, yeah, exactly. And, and because you say uh, it's, this is made somewhere which is actually quite hot, yes. therefore, uh, they expect you to. That, that flavour may well be compressed because of that. Yeah, it's they're a lot more, that to be. A lot more water yeah. also, as a. Uh, a lot of water is evaporated. Mm. So what we have here is a very concentrated, concentrated almost syrupy mm. expression of whiskey. Yeah. Mm. Whiskey concentrate, that's what this is. Yeah. Do well. Ice. Not fair. No? no? Okay. Well, I had to add a little bit more Cavalan because I added the ice and I thought it was already a bit too far past where I wanted it on the dilution scale because I thought I should have stopped at two, went mm -hmm. to four, went back, added some ice, added a bit more Cavalan. I don't know where I'm at now, I've lost all track of time, but I'm going to taste it with ice and see where it's at. For me. Yeah, well, Schleiner. Schleiner. Um, after all that, I just added some ice. <laughs> I, I didn't go on a spiritual journey. I didn't find my spirit animal. I just did yeah. my, my spirit animal at this particular moment is curled up, shaking like the fireworks are going off outside, and your dog going. <laughs> right. That's my spirit animal. My spirit animal is scared of fireworks, and this is fireworks. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> right. That's nice. Ice and the smash, I split. Sorry, I can't speak. <laughs> your numb tongue is just like, is, is it your lips or your tongue or whatever? It's probably it? both of those. Okay. I don't know. Maybe my whole face is numb. I don't know. Uh huh. Yeah. But with ice, it's, it's nice. It's cast strength. It comes in at 50 what then? 7.1. If any notes on the top of the 57.1. I don't know. Yeah. Look, yeah. mate. Yeah. Anything that can send your lips and your tongue so numb that you forget which one's which, you have to remember the percentage. Yeah. Okay. So, for a more sober review, um, <laughs> Fine. I'm assuming it's non shelter because it's gone. Way cloudy with a bit of ice. Yeah. Which you'd expect with uh, the non chilled point, chill filled with ones. So uh, it's gone seriously cloudy. However, um, it still has its rich and fullness on the flavour. I actually pick up a tad of um, aniseed, which has really put me off. And I'm not a fan of the rest, the rest of the flavour is actually really, really nice. It's just that there is a a pang of anise on the initial palate after putting some ice in, and mm. I'm not there. Okay. That, that well, it, it immediately shut me down. I think that this has so much in common with the Okantoshin Distillers Edition mm. that they could be blood brothers from another mother. Mm. That's what's going on with these two. Very, very similar. So if you like the Akintoshin Distillers Edition, or, to put it another way, you like the uh, Kavalan Solist, there's another one for you to try. Yeah. Although, I would say the Distillers Edition, whilst it comes out fighting, 
doesn't quite come out as shouty as this one. No. I, I, from, as memory serves, I think this is a better taste than the Octoshan. Oh, okay. Um, I think I prefer this one to it. I, it's, it's a weird conflict. It's not bad, it's not horrible. I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. no, but it's hard work to get to a point where it's at. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, it's disappointing. Mm -hmm. I thought there was going to be a lot more. The smell gave me yes. so much. And I thought I was going to get a lot of that coming back. And it just didn't do that for me. It went in a different direction. Then went to a place I, I'm not very comfortable with. I ate the star and this. And that one. That one. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Would you? If you like that stuff. I know. Perfect. Exactly. If you like a strong, dark, twisted whiskey. Lucky, lucky man. Ladies. Then this is one for you. Flask? No. Agreed. How on earth can you set this up? He <laughs> puts a flask. I mean, this is an emergency flask, right? Like, someone's collapsed. And you so burn it. No, yeah, exactly. Someone's collapsed, and you, you don't have any smelling salts, but you do have some cavalan in a flask, and you think, this will bring him round. Yeah, it will bring him round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, bring just long enough to go, what the fuck's that fuck? And <laughs> then just fake it over. Yeah, <laughs> and die. Right. Don't, don't give me that shit. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. This will prove <laughs> whether they were. The word of dead or faking it or, or oh god yeah 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 this will bring him round in a heartbeat yeah so no, you no know flasking no yeah. flasking so it burns so it burns is, yeah. yeah yeah stick it in the barrel yeah if, if, if you're someone where there's a uh, full strength absinthe and you think that's nice then this is this is the kind of uh, re absinthe replacement therapy mm. yeah would you gift it no. I would. I, I don't know who I'm <laughs> I don't know who I'm giving it to. That, yeah. That's what them hate gifts. It's like, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I would say it's too expensive for a hate gift. But it's, um, yeah. I mean, earlier this week, um, one of the guys at work was like, what, what gift do you give to your, your flatmate that you, you hate? But it's their birthday. Green spot. We all know the other spot. No, 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 green spot's nice. I'll oh, sorry. sorry. Our bottle of green spot. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's now nice because we've got cast. Yeah, yeah. We, we repaired that. One. Sorry, heads up. We cast it. It's lovely. Um, I don't know who we give this to. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's. I seem to be ex in law. No. No. It would just stay there and get regifted or be passed out. It would be, that would be the one, if you give it to someone you can't stand, the day that you go around their house, they'll pull that fucker out and pour it for you. Yeah. Oh, you like it neat, don't you? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, I've got that whiskey you like. And they'll pour you a really big fat one. Mm. And be... Because they won't have any uh, idea about how to pour a sentence, no? No, no, they will. But no, they, 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 they'll pour it out because they're trying to get rid of it. No, because you wouldn't have given it to a witch, a whiskey aficionado, because a whiskey aficionado would have gone, oh, where'd you get this? Yeah. No. Uh, um, this it. Well, I'm uh, slagging it. It's, but, no, it's not it's slag. It's, it's not, it's not it's, slagging. It's, it's, it's a good whiskey. It's not slagging. It's simply that we're used to drinking it neat or with a splash of water, and it's not possible. This, I suspect, is a mixologist's friend because it has lots of scope for being messed with. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely. It is like a, it is the whiskey equivalent of treacle. And if you think about all the places you could... Black treacle. In it. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Black I was groping for the freaking yeah. word. That's, that's it. Black. That's treacle. black treacle, mate. Yeah. At 57.1%. Yeah. Black treacle. Right. So you know. So, so you don't, you've got your golden treacle that you put in the cup. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You've got 
black trooper when you're making a heavy cake. And yeah, it's yeah. Rich. You put this in a black cake. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, oh man. It's, it's not without its uses. Oh, do, no. If you're, in fact, yes. I take, sure. it, I take it all back. I would gift it, but not to a whiskey drinker, to a cake maker. You want to, not to say want, want to use the cheapest rum. Yeah, well, in, right? I can I can tell you now that once upon a time I made a uh, cake from fruit that I soaked in Tesco's rum, dark rum. Yeah, doesn't make it terrible, is it? It was. It was, was it the value? Rum? I don't, it didn't have stripes on, but it might as well have done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a non stripy value. value. Oh, so, so that, for those of you who don't know, Tesla's got like three bands. So they've got their value, blue and white stripes, uh-huh. which yeah. is the bargain basement. Bargain. Then you've got the normal brands. Yes. And then they've got finest. Finest? Finest, yeah. yeah. Well, when it comes to spirits, they don't do value of stripes because they've worked out that that dog don't hunt. I think right? they did. I think they did the ciders. No, no, no. Cans, ciders, beers, beers, ciders, oh, right. definitely striking. Right. Spirits. Oh. No, no, the non striking. Yeah, non striking. <laughs> but I effectively brought a value. What, the standard brand? Standard? It, it, was, it wasn't finest. No, but it definitely wasn't expensive. Right. And it definitely went in the fruit. And when I made the cake, I went, what the shit have I done? Right? Because, but actually, no, I'm talking about it. the cake was fine. It was when I tasted put a little bit in the glass, I went, what did this shit taste like? And it was like, thank God they're still going with the cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, from, anyway, look, I digress. It's ridiculous. This is the black treacle of whiskey. <laughs> It's super concentrate, it's super strong, it's super flavoursome, it's super rich, it's super, super. Yeah, you have to use it as a base for something else. You cannot use it as the basis of your drinking for a night. Would this be alright for shots? Yeah, but only, only if you're 17. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Under the age of drink, legal drinking, absolutely, yeah. Then it's a sensible. Then, then it's a sensible drink. Your body shots will be able to repair itself. Exactly. Anyone over the age of seventeen <laughs> using this in shots is already too old to recover. Booze and Brews does not condone underage drinking. Absolutely correct. And you do need to drink responsibly. And if you're doing shots with this. That's as irresponsible to the extreme. I think we might have to stop and restart this because we haven't got to a score yet. Yeah, no, but uh, well, anyway, no, no, we're on good riff. So yeah. um, for me, yes, this is moving on par with uh, no, um, the NC drinks. Yes, and I'm thinking aftershock. Uh, not so much like no. that. Right Black is a boot. So, oh, yeah, that's that's right where it is. The black sambuca. Yeah. So rather than yeah. the white sambuca. In fact, yeah, and black the whole, sambuca. Yeah. Black sam. That's that's right on the money because it's got a little aniseed. Yeah, I know. Aniseed I, I twist. It. Yeah. And I think that's might have been the concentrate that put me off it initially. Ah. That my brain just said, put that fucking thing down. What we have here, yes, is indeed the black treacle, black sambuca, and a seed twist. How's that for the sambuca? I have never done sambuca with well, rice. Uzo and those kind of things. I, I have never done that with rice. Yeah, pretty damn cool. But. Take it or shoot it at your peril. No, take it at your leisure, shot it at your peril. I'm gonna dive right in and say 35. I might have gone too high, but it's not without its uses. 34. 33. 33. No, definitely no lower than 32. No, 33, 33. 
It's my first Cavalier. I, I, I wanted to enjoy it, but 33 is where it's at. What's your score, sir? I think this is exactly what they wanted to make. Absolutely. And they've, they've, they've made, made it well. for a particular market or a palette, and, and that's, that's not you. It's just not me. Mm. So I don't want to market too harshly and go below 25, but because of my personal taste, mm. I can't give it any more than 26. Cool. So. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you need to do it in the world. <laughs> I don't think that was necessary. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> that is Cavalier's Holist. If you've tried it and you love it, please tell us how you drank it because we've tried a bunch of stuff and um, yeah, we're going to go back into the bar and see if they can do something with it. I don't want to know. I do. I, I am definitely intrigued as to see what someone can do with that in a cocktail. We know you want to know. I definitely want to know. I don't. He doesn't want to know. I want to go to the next whiskey. Can we go to the next one? We can't go to the next one. We have to sign off from this one. So, this is Cavalasso List uh, from Taiwan. Thanks, guys. We've been at the Hawks more. Thanks to the lovely people that let us film here. Yeah. And, um, Chris? It's still here. Adrian? At this place. See you next time. Oh, that's nice. Thank you.